Ray Dalio is the founder of Bridgewater Associates, the largest hedge fund in the world. Bridgewater is responsible for managing assets worth approximately $150 billion. Hedge funds come and go, but this one stood its ground beating the odds for almost half a century. Dalio, who is in his early 70s, has a personal net worth of $20 billion, making him the 36th richest American. So what makes him a successful investor despite the state of the economy? Fortunately, he is very keen to share his investing genius through his books, videos, and talks. Let's dive into Dalio's investment principles that have made him exceptionally good. Number 1. The economy is the driving force behind investment opportunities and risks. Ray Dalio, a macro investor, focuses on studying economic trends to identify these opportunities and risks. Unlike micro investors who prioritize technical research on individual companies, Dalio's approach takes a broader view of the economy. Dalio's macro perspective proved to be successful in the 2000s, leading to special recognition for Bridgewater. He predicted the 2008 financial crisis by analyzing economic indicators and adjusted Bridgewater's portfolios accordingly. This move paid off when Bridgewater's Pure Alpha Fund experienced growth while the average hedge fund lost 19%. Number 2. Dalio strongly advocates for diversification as a means of managing risk. He suggests diversifying across 15 or more uncorrelated assets to lower the risk-to-return ratio. Uncorrelated assets do not move in the same direction, either positively or negatively. For example, the price of gold and the S&P 500 have a low correlation. The S&P 500 can experience a downturn without affecting the price of gold. Bridgewater portfolios are diversified across asset classes, sectors, and currencies. Dalio has also disclosed that he holds cryptocurrencies as part of his diversification strategy. Dalio's approach to diversification is based on the principles of Nobel Prize-winning economist Harry Markowitz. By inputting assets with their expected returns, risks, and correlations into a model, an optimal mix of assets in a portfolio can be determined. With 15 to 20 uncorrelated return streams, the volatility of a portfolio can be reduced without sacrificing expected returns. Dalio refers to this principle as the holy grail of investing, and he applies it to all areas of his life. Making a few well-diversified and leveraged bets is the best way to achieve high returns while avoiding significant downside risk. Number 3. Dalio recognizes the danger of inflation and its potential impact on investment returns and purchasing power. To mitigate these risks, one of the ways he advocates is to hold gold as a form of alternative currency. One of Dalio's most famous investment strategies, the all-weather portfolio, includes a 7.5% allocation to gold. This portfolio is specifically designed to navigate through challenging economic situations. To implement this strategy, Bridgewater not only invests in gold funds but also in the stocks of gold miners and producers. Number 4. According to Ray Dalio, investors should not simply hold onto stocks forever. Instead, he recommends taking profits on overpriced stocks and reinvesting in undervalued ones. This strategy is known as, rotating the portfolio. By doing so, investors can increase their chances of success by investing in good companies that may be undervalued relative to the economy or their sector. Number 5. Investors often hold biases towards the market or a specific position, which can lead to losses. Dalio recognizes this and recommends periodically analyzing investment decisions to identify biases and considering the opposite scenario. To mitigate these biases, diversification is key. By diversifying across different asset classes, sectors, and stocks, investors can protect themselves in case the directional beliefs turn out to be incorrect. Number 6. To be successful in the stock market, it's important to think independently and not just follow the crowd. The consensus view is already factored into the market price, so going against it can lead to profits. However, this approach comes with the risk of being wrong, so it's essential to have the ability to question your own assumptions. In the past, Dalio made mistakes that taught him the value of humility and the importance of considering different perspectives. By seeking out the viewpoints of others, he was able to gain a more comprehensive understanding of the market. Learning how to balance your own beliefs with the input of others can increase your chances of making the right investment decisions. Number 7. Focusing solely on making money is not a productive goal, as money has no intrinsic value. Its value comes from what it can purchase, and it can't buy everything. It's more effective to start with your actual goals, and then figure out what you need to achieve them. 
When considering your real desires, it's important to assess their relative importance to properly prioritize them. For instance, he places equal value on meaningful work and meaningful relationships and considers money less significant as long as he had enough to meet the basic needs. Number 8. To be a successful investor, it is crucial to know when to make bets and when not to. You can significantly enhance your success rate if you only place bets that you are highly confident about. However, even in those cases, it is important to remember that the best choices are not those without any cons, but those with more pros than cons. Increasing the probability of being right is valuable, regardless of your starting odds. Many investors make decisions when their chances of being correct are greater than 50% but fail to consider the benefits of raising their chances even higher. Improving your odds of being right can often be achieved by acquiring more information, so it is essential to evaluate your thinking and stress test your assumptions, even when you believe you are right. Number 9. It's more important to do big things well than to do the small things perfectly. The 80 20 rule suggests that the majority of the value or information can be obtained from a small percentage of the effort put in. However, many people end up exerting a disproportionate amount of effort on the final 20% of value or information. By understanding this rule, you can avoid getting lost in irrelevant details once you have learned enough to make a sound decision. Being a perfectionist can lead to an excessive focus on minor details, taking time and energy away from more important factors. Usually, there are only 5 to 10 key factors to consider when making a decision, so it's crucial to fully comprehend and prioritize them. Number 10. Dalio says that I have learned from experience how important it is to reflect on and write down the criteria I use to make decisions. By doing this, I can identify my weaknesses and the patterns of mistakes I tend to make. Knowing and acknowledging these weaknesses is crucial for achieving success. Therefore, it is helpful to write down your mistakes and analyze them to connect the dots and recognize your weaknesses. Number 11. Mistakes are often viewed negatively because people tend to focus on the immediate consequences rather than the learning process that comes with making mistakes. However, mistakes are an essential part of growth, and learning from them can prevent similar mistakes from happening in the future. In reality, everyone fails at some point. It's easy to only notice other people's successes while ignoring their failures. However, it's important to recognize that successful people also experience failure in other areas of their life. Those who handle failure with grace and learn from their mistakes are the ones who garner the most respect, even more so than those who achieve success without ever experiencing failure. As you must have recognized so far, Ray Dalio is a man of a lot of wisdom. His investment strategy might not suit every one of you, but it has served him and his clients extremely well. We conclude with our favorite quotes from Ray Dalio that reflect his genius about investing and life in general. Look at what caused people to make a lot of money and you will see that usually it is in proportion to their production of what the society wanted. School typically doesn't prepare young people for real life, unless their lives are spent following instructions and pleasing others. In my opinion, that's why so many students who succeed in school fail in life. Truth, more precisely, an accurate understanding of reality, is the essential foundation for producing good outcomes. It's far more common for people to allow ego to stand in the way of learning. If you don't look at yourself and think, wow, how stupid I was a year ago, then you must not have learned much in the last year. The more you think you know, the more closed-minded you'll be. Choose your habits well. Habit is probably the most powerful tool in your brain's toolbox. Mistakes are the path to progress. Pain plus reflection equals progress. If you are not aggressive, you are not going to make money, and if you are not defensive, you are not going to keep money. I think that the first thing is you should have a strategic asset allocation mix that assumes that you don't know what the future is going to hold. If you deviate from that balanced mix, which I don't recommend doing because market timing is a tough game for a non-professional and for professionals to play well, know how to play the economic cycles. Everybody pays attention to returns, and they don't pay attention to risks as much. And that's one of the reasons we've been successful because think of it this way. If you lose 50%, you've got to make 100% to get back. Experience taught me how invaluable it is to reflect on and write down my decision-making criteria whenever I made a decision, so I got in the habit of doing that. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and subscribe to our channel to know more about money, business, and the economy in general.